Hi, it's Miss M. Today I'll show you how to find inspiration in your own backyard. We will use the 3, 2, 1 method. First, you'll need to take three pictures. I'll show you some of the pictures I took. These pictures can be of anything. They can even be close-ups. Next, record two sounds you hear. Finally, find one object that you can take into your house. I found this cool rock! Now combine all six elements together. It could be a painting, a collage, photos, a story. I decide I'm going to use this stone to make a worry stone. Now what is a worry stone? You can have a big or a small worry stone. A small worry stone is usually a round, smooth stone you keep in your pocket. When you get worried, you can rub the stone with your finger and feel calmer. A big worry stone you usually keep by your bed. Before you go to sleep, you can rub your worry stone and let your worry stone absorb all of that stress, any fears. I am going to paint my worry stone like a little house, inspired by the shed in my backyard. When I think about the fire pit, I think of all the good times my family spent around a roaring fire. So the roof will look like a fire itself. It also kind of looks like a sunset, doesn't it? It's natural to worry sometimes. It can be scary when things feel so uncertain. That's why it's so important to find ways to feel peace. Maybe you'll make your own worry stone. Maybe you'll talk to your parents. Do you have a favorite movie you can watch? Is there a song that inspires you, makes you feel happy, or just makes you want to get up and dance? Maybe you can plan something fun with your family this week to make sure that you have something to look forward to. Now that I've painted my window and door, I'm going to add some bricks to my house. The fire pit in my backyard is made out of bricks. My uncle made that for us. I try to capture the colors I saw in my backyard. Oranges, reds, yellows, blues and greens. What's your favorite color? My favorite color might be yellow or pink. Anything can be your canvas if you just stretch your mind a little. Now I am going to go in and add some more details. If you're making a worry stone, remember that it's unique to you. What inspires you? Maybe you like the seaside and the water. Maybe you like the forest. Picture what makes you calm. I love my house and I love my neighbors. I can't see them right now, but through my worry stone, I can still think of them.
Here I add some birds. These little birds can remind me of their songs. Now I'll add some final details and I'll be done! And there you have it. You can use this method whenever you need inspiration. Good luck!